During the Cold War, the Pentagon's Chemical Corps researched chemical compounds that could be used against enemy troops. The objective wasn't to kill the forces, but rather to disable them in a matter of seconds. This rare footage, released in 2016, shows a laboratory experiment in which a cat is sprayed in the face with lysergic acid diethyl amide, also known as LSD. The kitten appears to jump around and even be scared of the mice that share its cage. The United States Cold War era possible plans for mind control are shrouded in mystery. This footage provides an extraordinary glimpse into experiments that never developed into actual war weapons. Compound chemicals and poisons have played a crucial part in war history since ancient times. Still, after the devastating effects of the chlorine, phosgene, and mustard gas used in World War I, countries banded together to try and regulate their use on the battlefield. In the summer of 1925, the Geneva Protocol, which bans the use of asphyxiating, poisonous, or other gases during the war, was signed by 38 nations. Although the United States signed the treaty, they didn't precisely abide by their rules for five more decades. And even then, the military initially reserved the right to use chemical weapons against anyone who broke the Geneva Protocol. Throughout the Second World War and well into the Cold War, the Pentagon's Chemical Corps developed dozens of new chemical compounds and strategies with a plan to use them in combat. The scientists' main interest in these substances was that they could stop rival troops from invasion, all without killing anyone. It seems like a cheap method of wreaking havoc on the enemy. In 1955, the Chemical Corps created an official program to test these agents. They dubbed these hazardous biological compounds K-Agents. Major General William Creasy, who was then in charge of the Chemical Corps, had been very interested in the effects of LSD, which he thought could, quote, quickly disable an enemy force, yet not destroy lives. This footage is part of a series of tests Army scientists performed in 1958 at the infamous Edgeward Arsenal. Dozens of soldiers consented to the experiments, but the animals didn't have a choice. In the clips, an average cat is put next to mice in a glass cage. Just as any feline would do, the cat attempts to hunt and eat the prey. But not too long after the kitten is given a minute amount of aerosol LSD, it starts jumping and hissing around the cage. As the film's narrator says, quote, the chemical begins to react on the brain, and after 45 seconds, the effects of the psychochemical become apparent. A small amount of the drug turned the cat's entire personality, and it now seems afraid of the mice it once tried to hunt. In 1976, Dr. Barry Jacobs, a professor at the Princeton University Neuroscience Institute, studied how LSD affected feline animals. He explained that analyzing the effect of chemicals on the behavior of mice seemed unthinkable. In an interview, he said cats were chosen because, quote, these are highly expressive animals, both behaviorally and in terms of emotion, and so that was the reason. The clip also shows soldiers highly drugged with LSD who attempted to follow commands. Unable to follow their sergeant's instructions, the troops stumble and wander around the land. They smile and laugh uncontrollably and sometimes salute the wrong people. The narrator describes, quote, they have ceased to be alert but have become relaxed and carefree. They cannot control the impulse to laugh. In addition to LSD, these clips also describe testing a chemical compound known as CS4640. In the footage, two medium-sized dogs are drugged with the substance but are then safely revived by the scientists. It was later found out that this chemical is fatal in primates. The Chemical Corps continued a similar series of tests for the next several years, in 1964, several British Royal Marines went through a similar experiment, and that footage was also released decades later. And while LSD testing continued well into 1966, the Pentagon grew concerned that some of the results, especially on humans, were wildly unpredictable. They also performed tests where they experimented with exhaustion, high doses of caffeine, cocaine, and nicotine.
when these experiments became public knowledge, the CIA and the Army attempted to destroy the thousands of records and documents that chronicle these monstrous experiments. LSD was never used in combat. Ten years after these studies ceased to be performed, the Army concluded that none of the individuals that participated in these studies suffered any significant health impacts. There wasn't any information about the fate of the animals. Many of the experiments performed by the Army and the CIA during the Cold War are surrounded by mystery. They will continue to be the subject of plenty of conspiracy theories, even 45 years after the program stopped. <laughs>